welcome to Finn. I'm with Brian Feuerstein from Lee Products and he's going to tell us about a new product the company's released which could make a big impact in the military UAV space. Brian, could you tell me a bit about the piston products that you've released today? Yeah, uh, we just uh, released our first uh, radial piston pump which uses uh, different technology than most pumps on the market which are gear pumps. The radial piston pump uh, uses a brushless DC servo motor to uh, drive a rotor that during each revolution, because it's offset from the axis of the housing, causes the pistons to extend and retract. Um, and based on the uh, variation of the speed of the motor, you can vary the output of the pumping volume. And I understand that this is going to have um, helped to solve one of the ongoing challenges of military UAV engines. Can you explain a bit to me about the challenge and how it's going to address that? Yeah, the need we're seeing in the market is that UAVs are, um, the U.S. Uh, military is trying to require that a UAV only need to go overhaul every thousand hours. But one of the limitations is that the pumps are requiring overhaul every 250 hours. So the Lee Company uh, has been in the aerospace industry for over 70 years. We have a, a very high quality rating and we've uh, qualified our pump to industry standards so that it can last for over a thousand hours and solve that issue. And what, what are the other key benefits, would you say, besides this engine issue? So the radial piston design uh, is a more efficient design because the pistons are extended out to the housing race. You don't get any uh, losses of fluid from the exterior. And Lee Company's expertise in miniature has allowed us to minimize the distance between the piston and the rotor bore as they extend and retract. So we're not losing uh, efficiency through there. And the pump actually has the ability to uh, operate on air for a short period of time, so it can self-prime, mm -hmm. um, which is a key benefit for uh, most of the people in the market. We've also done dirty fluid testing on the uh, pump to make sure they can handle a higher level of contamination. Um, so this has answered a lot of the limitations of other gear pumps. Excellent. Um, and how do you see the product might develop in the future? Uh, we're hoping to continue to increase the uh, pressure capabilities and the lifetime. Uh, the U.S. government is already expressing a need to go from 1,000 to 2,000 hours of operation. Um, we're going to integrate a drive and motor onto the uh, uh, a drive onto the motor of the pump uh, to continue to add more and more features. Excellent. Well, for further news on UAVs, engines, and everything aerospace, subscribe to wearefin.com.